plenty of times. I've had Hero Burger plenty of times. Um, I would say it's very underrated for sure. Um, it's classic. Uh, it's definitely different because they, I, I believe it's a frozen burger, but there's just something about the taste that, you know, has to be coming back every once in a while. You know, you're, sometimes you're just not craving something as gourmet as Burgernator or Burgers Park. Sometimes you just want like just a raw burger, just a straight up burger, right? And Hero Burger tends to never really hit the spot. It's consistent. Um, it's good, but I would go to the other places as well. But um, I, I usually don't have complaints with Hero Burger. Yeah, I think you've pegged it just right, right. Like it always seems to be around and it's hit the spot for me a few times. The other thing I appreciate about Hero Burger is the owner is not Muslim. Um, he's, he's, you know, he's not a Muslim, but he wanted to kind of make this accessible to the Muslim community, you know, out of, you know, sort of kindness and generosity, but also out of a business sense. And And we're cool with both, right? Like if there's if there's a market to be served, we want people to know that you as a restaurant owner are going to be better off offering halal. Mm-hmm. 100%. And that's something that uh, we kind of in the food blogging community, especially in Toronto, really advocate for is just not just supporting uh, Muslim owners and Muslim owned businesses is also supporting the non-Muslims as well. Um, and being able to have a platform like this where we showcase a lot of different halal options really sends out a message to those restaurant owners as well that do not ho- offer halal offer halal options and sends the message saying like, Hey, there's a market for this kind of stuff, right? People will like, it's a, it's a market waiting to get capitalized on. So, um, definitely as food bloggers, we, we advocate for that as well. 